Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions as well, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out and wait actually until you see if the video helped you out then press the like button please i would really appreciate it and if it didn't help you out don't press the dislike button because it's broken just drop me a comment below i would be happy to help you out and now that, that's working 100 i promise so <laughs> let's just quit talking and show you how to hide either the footer or the header or both of them on some specific pages in shopify store without using any apps or anything like that and this is a request again by a subscriber i spent some time working on it and i did write the code in order to do that on both two pages not just one and you can pick in anything collection or a specific page or a product page anything we want you will work for it just fine and you will see that in action and not just that i will show you as i said how to actually pick if you want to hide them or remove them both i mean the header and the footer or just one of them and we will do that by the same code no worries and it's very simple so let's just quit talking and let's just jump to it as you can see this is the shopify dashboard i have here down team which is the last version 15 as of now and below here i have other free teams as well as you can see which is taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because each trick i do share on my channel i do demonstration i mean in the video on down team but behind the scenes i do try it on all of these teams so even if it uh, if you are not using down you're using one of these it should work for you just fine and as i said even if it didn't drop me a comment i will be happy to help you out but i'm sure it will because i do test it on all of them and i do spend some time to do that so i'll be honest with you so a like will, will be really appreciated so let's just go talking and show you how to hide either the footer or the header or both of them on some specific pages only for your Shopify store and the first thing I'm going to do is show you uh, where I'm going to do the trick ad so let's just say contact us so we want to hide the header and the footer on contact us and we want to hide the header and the footer on some collection let's just go for this one which is the one I use for demonstrations which is tech accessories so we will do uh, the trick on these two the contact us and this collection page so it will be ha it doesn't have any header and it won't have the footer as well and i will show you as i said how to pick uh, if you want to show one of them or no so let's just keep this open we will do the trick come back and see it in action so the first thing you're going to do is as always click on the three dots on left of customize for your team and click on edit code then use the search bar at top left corner and simply type in team and it will show you team.liquid click on it then here we need to find a specific part of the code uh, looking at the code can be a little bit difficult but you can click on it then click on uh, if you are on windows click on i mean on the keyboard click on Control f if you are on mac like me click on command f and it will show you this prompt at the bottom of the page here then type in here forward slash head just like you see on the screen without any space or anything then hit enter and it will hide highlight sorry the code or uh, the part of the code or the head on the code in here so the next thing we're going to do is let me close this first okay so the next thing we're going to do because we need some space in here because we're going to pass the code obviously so we need space between script and head in order to get some space simply click front of script hit enter and here we go we have a completely new script because as i said we need to write a code in here or just pass the code for your case but to get the code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours and you get back to you with the short code three lines or four lines and uh, for subscribe to the channel that's not how it works you can actually just scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see this short code will do the magic trick and this code is completely free no pay please no share please nothing like that just a like button will, re will be really appreciated so let's just uh, select the whole code make sure to select the whole thing right click and copy and get back in here and simply paste it into the space we did create so let's just pass it in here and hold on before we click on the save button we need to specify the places where the header and the footer will be hidden right 
So let's just get back to the call so I can show you in the dark background, it's better. So let's just uh, say, for, for example, this one says collection handle and this one said product handle. Uh, why do I name them like this? I think because I tried them on collection and product, but it works for everything. Not just, it works for specific pages. It doesn't matter if it's collection or product, I promise. I actually will, will flip them around. So we will do this. This is, we need to change this to the handle for the page we want to do the trick on. So let's just say this one, it will be contact us. The second one, which is product, we will do collection instead. So it will, we will show you that it works for both. So uh, let's just get back in here. And if you are wondering what is the handle, the handle is this one, front of forward slash, uh, collections forward slash, as you can see. So let's just select the first one for the collection and uh, right click and copy. Then we're going to get back in here and simply replace this collection. Let's just do it for product, as I said. So let's just paste the collection handle in the product handle here like this. And if you remember, I said I want to change it and I want to hide it as well on the on contact us. Contact us, same, the handle. Simply select the handle for the page you want to do the trick on, copy, get back, and we will do it instead on collection handle. Here we go. So now we just need, by the way, make sure to keep the quotes between the words, the handle I mean, otherwise it will not work. So make sure to keep the quotes. So let's just click on save button and we will get back in here where our contact page. So there is a header here. So let's just reload the page. As you can see, no more header. If I scroll down, I'm scrolling now and there is no more footer as you can see. But how can we check the collection? <laughs> That's funny. So let's just get back to home page. Let's just remove all of this. All right. All right. So it has header. As you can see, the home page has the header and the footer. That's only working on uh, the specific page we did pick, which is tech accessories. Here we go. No more header. And if I scroll down, no more footer, as you can see. So as I said, I will show you how to pick which one to do demonstration on. Let's just get back to black screen again. So as you can see here, it says dot header and this thing, I don't know what it's called in English, I apologize, and dot footer. And if you use your brain a little bit, I think you know what to do, right? If you don't want to uh, implement this trick on the header, simply remove it, but you need to remove this thing as well. Let's just do that so I can show you. So I don't want the header to be hidden anymore. So I will remove the thing <laughs> and dot header. Remove the dot as well. Okay, so let's just click on save. And if we get back in here, reload the page. Here we go, the header is back again. But if I scroll down, no more footer. And it should be the same for contact as, as well. As you can see, there is a header. But if I scroll down, there is no more footer. And that's how you hide either the header or the footer or both on some specific pages only for your Shopify without using any apps. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.